it's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. In today's long lesson, we're going to learn 14 useful words and expressions that you can find in the song Antihero by Taylor Swift in her latest album, Midnights. And at the end of the video, I want to share with you my five favorite lines from this song. I really like Antihero and I feel identified with it. I think it's a very honest song as Taylor Swift talks about things she doesn't like about herself, which I think is very brave and straightforward. Are you ready to learn some useful vocabulary through music? If so, open your notebook and let's kick off. The first word on my list today is an adjective, covert. It means secret or hidden, making it difficult to notice. There will be two examples. The first one is from the song and the second one is made up by me. The first example from the song, Taylor sings, did you hear my covert narcissism? I disguise as altruism. And the second example here, it was a covert military operation. Number two, it's a noun a will, which is a synonym of a testament. In other words, it's a legal document that says what is to happen with someone's money or property after they die. I have this dream my daughter-in-law kills me for the money. She thinks I left them in the will. And number two, have you made a will? And now we're going to look at three phrasal verbs. Number one, to end up. It means to find yourself in a situation or place that wasn't expected or planned. Number one, I end up in crisis. And one more example here, I want to go to Ireland next summer, but I may end up traveling to Bali. Our next phrasal verb is to hang out. It's informal and it means to spend a lot of time in a place or with someone. Number one, too big to hang out. Number two, what are I going to do tomorrow morning? I'm going to hang out at the beach. And an extra example, a very common expression, let's hang out sometime. Number five, to root for. It means to support or to encourage someone in a sports competition or when they are in a difficult situation. One, it must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti-hero. Imagine there are two teams playing a match and you want to ask, which team are you rooting for? And one more, good luck on your exam, I'm rooting for you. And now we're going to look at six verbs. Number six, to disguise. It means to hide something or change it so that it can be recognized. Did you hear my covert narcissism? I disguise as altruism. And one more example here, she disguised herself by wearing a wig and oversized sunglasses. Number seven, a very trendy verb today, to ghost someone. It means to end a relationship with someone and all communication suddenly without giving an explanation and disappear into thin air. Poof. Number one, all of the people I ghosted stand there in the room. It's better to be direct and tell the truth rather than ghost people. Number eight, to lurch. It means to move suddenly in an irregular and uncoordinated way. Number one, too big to hang out, slowly lurching toward your favorite city. And one more example here, the bus drove over a bumpy road and lurched from side to side. Number nine, to pierce. It means to make a small hole in something or to go through something with a sharp object. Number one, pierced through the heart, but never killed. And one more, I had my ears pierced when I was about 20. Number 10, to scheme. It means to make secret plans that often deceive others. One day I watch as you're living cause you got tired of my scheming. And one more, I wouldn't trust him. I think he's scheming something. Number 11, to stare. It means to look at someone or something for a long time without moving your eyes. Number one, I will stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. And one more, why are you staring at me? And now we're going to learn three useful expressions and idioms 
Number 12, I like this idiom very much, to be left to your own devices. It means to be left to do what you want and make your own decisions. Number one, I should not be left to my own devices. They come with prices and vices. And one more example here, stop smothering your daughter. She is old enough to be left to her own devices. 13. Tale as old as time. It means that something has happened over and over again. Thus, it's nothing new. Number one, I end up in crisis. Tale as old as time. And one more example here. I want to be well organized and not procrastinate. But then I end up doing everything at the last minute. Tale as old as time. Okay, and last but not least, to work the graveyard shift. It means to work during the night, usually between midnight and 8 a.m. Number one, my depression works the graveyard shift. And the last simple sentence for today, working the graveyard shift must be very unhealthy. And now I'd like to share with you my five favorite lines from this song. Number one, I should not be left to my own devices. They come with prices and vices. I end up in crisis. Number two, this line is brilliant. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. I can relate. Number three, I will stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. Number four, did you hear my covert narcissism? I disguise as altruism like some kind of congressman. And number five, I think it's my favorite, pierced through the heart, but never killed. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching today's English bit. And I encourage you to listen to the song so that you can memorize all this vocabulary easily. If you enjoyed today's lesson, please don't forget to like it and to subscribe to English Bits. And also remember, that you can catch me on Instagram. Thank you for your time and support and see you very soon. Ciao for now!